Okay, we're out here in Dallas, Texas, and I'm going to be honest with you. My friend Pete, he pumps Ellis Color Supply over here in Dallas, been buying supplies from since 1980. I'm probably their oldest customer that they've ever had. Now, I drove all the way out here to Dallas, Texas. This is where I buy my supplies. If they don't have it at the time, I'll have them send it to me all the way to Moab. So this is an honest situation. These people are great people to work with. If you are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you want to visit, that's it right there. You want to visit Ellis Color Supply. Now, we're over here on Hampton Street. We're over on Hampton. Um, this is another store. I've never been to this store, but we got our buddy Castapo in here. He's running the operation, and we're going to go in there and talk to him. And we're going to go ahead and focus on a couple items that I preferably like. And then he's going to show us some new stuff that he likes. Ellis Color Supply, Dallas, Texas. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. The video you're about to watch is where I visit a paint and body shop supply store. I want you to pay close attention to how the sales rep is trying to sell me dozens and dozens of items that I don't need to do one job. This is where the corporations are starting to take over and to brainwash you to make you think that you need all this extra stuff to do one little job with one item. So pay attention inside the video. We're going to go into the store. We're going to check it out. And we're going to listen to the sales rep as he explains that you need to do it this way because you have to buy all this stuff to do this job instead of buying one thing to do the job one way. Here we go. What's going on, my friend Pete? What's up, buddy? How you doing today? Gustavo? Pretty, pretty good. What do we got here, buddy? 3M's making blocks. Yeah, those are the good ones right there. These are hook-it blocks, though. Yep. So you got to buy that high-tech, expensive sandpaper to use those. It's not too expensive. No Dura-Block on that action, huh? <laughs> no. Wow. You're telling me I'm going to spend $150 for a block set, and then i got to spend another two or $300 on Velcro paper? It's worth it. I'll tell you what. Keep it. When I walked in a few minutes ago, you were showing us some clear that you were trying to promote. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, we got it last Can year. Can we bring it up here, bro? Yeah, for sure. All right, PPG bought this line a while back. Um, PPG brought the HET? Yeah. They bought so that uh, PPG owns HET, which is High Efficiency Technology. Yes, sir. They own that? Yes, sir. Okay, so what's going on with it? Well, with this one, you call it one of our cheap peers in price. Because it's about $65 for the kit. $65, $65. Now you're getting one gallon of clear. Now is this a... It's a 4 to 1 mixture. Okay. Is this a medium solid? It's a light solid? It's a heavy? This isn't European clear, of course. No, it's not. It's okay. A, you could say it's a light solid. It's a light so solid. we're using this on like collision repairs. Yes. Like yeah. if we're, or, or a car that we might buy at the auction and, and paint and resell. Yeah. We're not doing this action on a uh, $80,000 show no, car. No, 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 no. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. So for 65 bucks, we got some nice... Beautiful clear here. Now, does it come in different hardeners or just one hardener only? This one comes in two different hardeners. The only thing about this one, it comes out in fast and slow. That's it. That's it. So this is our fast hardener, which is what? Basically, uh, what what temperature range would that be in? Uh, like below 60, uh, maybe? Yeah, 40 to 60? 75 and below if you want. But once it gets to like 50, nah, you, you, yeah. you'd rather paint on a, okay. on a warm room. So we got the Grow Automotive. It's called High Efficiency Technology GRO 9000. And this is a multi-purpose acrylic urethane clear coat. You can use this on collision damages. 
You can do a scuff and paint job with this, maybe make a little bit of money, yeah. save a little bit of money. If somebody wants to do, let's say, the buddy deal, for instance, That'll this is the clear that we want for the buddy deal. That'll be perfect. Okay, buddy. 65 plus tax. Got it. Okay, if I look over my shoulder here, we got some more HET products. What's going on here, dude? It looks like uh, washer. Yeah. Thin washer. That's one of our cheapest uh, thinner. Now, don't you sell that by the five-gallon jug? Yeah, we do. We okay. Do. What's this price right here for? Uh, that we haven't moved. You're moved. telling me one no, no, gallon no, no, no. is fifty-five dollars? <laughs> nah, this goes for the bottom right here. For okay, primer. that's for our primer. We're gonna get to that in a minute, but because we're here saving money. Yeah. yeah okay, we're not here, you know, building a a, a race car, dragster, Don Garlitz action, or or let's say Boyd Coddington shit here. Nah. What we're doing here is we are showing people how to save money but do a high quality job. Yeah. Okay. We got the HET product. We got how much is something like this here? If they just wanted like a quick job, do it yourself at home deal. Uh, I mean, the thinner right now we're selling there for uh, I believe it's at thirteen ninety nine. Right thirteen dollars for one gallon. one gallon. Is that a good deal? Oh yeah. I okay. Think so. Look what we got here. What's the Gross Super Clean? What? That's wax and grease remover. Yes, sir. How much is a gallon of that? I don't know. I think it's at sixteen ninety nine right now. Sixteen dollars versus PPG brand is what? It's seventy five or eighty. Uh, it runs up there. I think the. That one probably runs around 50 bucks for, for the... So it's about $55 for the PPG, for the, PPG uh, the DX330? Yeah. Wow. That, that one works really good, though. I mean, if you want good... Well, product, to me, work. dude, wax and grease moves, wax and grease move. You can't tell me. <laughs> okay, that's like buying... That's like going downtown to Adam's Hat and saying, Okay, I want an Adam's... I want a Stetson hat. No, I want an Adam's hat. Okay, we're going to put the Stetson on this. We'll put the Stetson label on this hat, which is the exact same hat made in the Adams factory, but we're going to charge you $100,000. Eh, kind same of. Same bullshit. Really. Okay, buddy. <laughs> this is kind of what I like right here at Ellis Color, and this is the reducer that I use on all my cars, is this HET. This is what my friend Pete uses, and I'm usually a medium guy year-round. Sometimes if it's super hot, I'm going to go with uh, the slow and I don't, I've never used the fast, but since I'm in Moab, Utah now, we're going to have to get a couple gallons of that. But I also see that you're selling this in quart cans as well. Yes, sir. How much is a quart, buddy? Uh, they run about... For I a think, quickie job. I believe those run about eight bucks. Eight dollars. That's pretty cheap versus PPG. Uh, the, 30 or 40. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking at that. How much is a gallon, bud? A gallon of that is... Uh, we got it for twenty one ninety nine. Twenty? You're joking me. Twenty one ninety. Twenty one ninety nine. dollars Now, there's one thing that I want to tell everybody out here. There's a, ba a brand of Bondo. I've used it all my life. I've never used anything else called Dynalite. Uh, actually... Do you have Dynalite or no? We've been backward on that right now. Okay. But I do have two over here. Though. Well, we just want to look at it right now, buddy. So, you see, Ellis Color Supply is really up on things and saving you, the consumer, a lot of money. Okay, so this is the Bondo that my friend Pete's been using since day one. Beautiful Bondo. Bondo works great. Um... My opinion on Bondo is this high-tech, fancy, $150 gallon shit is bullshit. You can take Evercoat Honey, mix it with that, it's the same crap. Okay, how much is one gallon of that? This is running right now at $14.99. $14 a gallon. And people are looking at me like, you're a dumbass. I'm using Evercoat. I'm spending the $150. Tell them, dude. Man, if you can make it work with this, you save a lot of money, especially That's the way you That's all I it. use, and I do $80,000, $100,000 restorations it's all right the there. It's all okay, the Dynalite, remember that. That's your money saver right there. Am I right, bro? Yeah, that's your money saver. Now, let's yeah, see some of this future. cheap, inexpensive 3M here, that's, bud. That's, what that's, are we talking about, Gustavo? Well, right now, if you're trying, because we do have the purple line. Which is this? It's, it's okay, it's purple. It's pretty expensive. But that's Velcro. Let's yes. talk about stick on for people stick that don't on. have. I do have the blue and stick on. I do have that. Now, and what's I'll... going on with blue? I've never seen blue. What's up with that? Man. Just How a... much is a, a roll of blue? It is expensive. Uh, a regular, uh, for like, say you compare it to the red, a red runs you about $25. This is going to run you about 40 bucks. Oh, my God. But the thing about this, one sheet of this uh, is compared to three sheets of the red. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of like this right here. Yeah. Kind of like this. They got the 36 grit Lorolo locks in purple, and one of those discs outlasts uh, four of the green. Yeah, it's about right. And I will be a, uh, uh, a promoter on this item because I was actually stuck in the middle of actually buying these, which I didn't want to do. I'm a, I, I like the green ones, and when I bought a box of these, uh, that was six months ago, I still have half a box left. So this is, I will go ahead and tell you that the Cubitron 2 uh, fiber lock disc, the purple ones, 
forget the green, get the purple. Now, you only get 15 in this versus what, 25 in the green? Yeah, 25 on the green. But it's well worth the money, and you're going to save a lot of money at that. Let me ask you this question, Gustavo. Yeah. Are you selling more Velcro than you are stick-on? We are. We are. Really? Because we're converting everybody to Velcro now. Because I noticed you're really pushing this Velcro action here. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of things that actually came with the, without a new, with the with the new line three years. Uh huh. And I can show it to you. I got it right there. It's a new Velcro line, and it's uh, really. That's, that's and how much is that? Uh, it's not too expensive. Mm -hmm. It does come with the hundred sheet rolls though on each pack instead of fifty. A hundred sheet instead of fifty. Instead of fifty. Wow. Look what we got over here, bud. A lot of people watch me color sand and buff. I need to get two of these, by the way. Right. Is this the only two you got? Uh, on those, I think they're they're quick licks. Yeah, they, you got the. What do you mean quick licks? Quick and uh, this is like a uh, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't screw on no more. Oh, I need the but screw on. I got, I got the screw on. You don't have screw. No, I got them. I still got them. Wow. Yeah, we still got those. That, Son of a bitch! My know. friend Pete's an old school guy here. I'm getting shit that people don't even use anymore. What the? Quick connect clickers? Yeah. Jesus. You want to open it? You want to see? No. Yeah. Let's open that. I want to see that. I'm kind of curious, but okay. There you go. So you buy an adapter for your buffer. And it just kind of clicks right in there, yeah, huh? And you click it out. And then pop it out. Mm -hmm. huh. Real easy. Real now, simple. what's more expensive, that pad or the screw-on pad? This pad right here. Ten dollars more expensive. Well, we're not getting that. Why is that supposed to last ten times longer? Or? It's uh, a little bit thicker. It, it is a little thicker. I know so I touched it. it. Yeah, more rotten to it. Yeah. But we're still using double-sided pads. Yeah. Okay, so is the double-sided pad, let me ask you this, because now we're into the buffing set, we're into the finish. Is the double-sided wool pad with the 3M rubbing compound, which I need to get some today. Is that more popular than using this multi-foam pad action to color sand and buff a car? Uh, what are you selling more of? Right now, we, we're we actually selling more of this. You're selling more of the uh, it, it foam worked, pad yeah. uh, application than the wool pad yeah, just rubbing because, compound. Just because the new compound they came out with, because they made a new formula 3M, it works way better with the foam. So you're saying it cuts and buffs a lot better? Yeah. So it actually uh, cuts down after you color sand it. It gets rid of those those deep scratches a lot quicker than using a buff pad, and you don't have what? You don't have as much mess, or you don't have a, a lot of swirls left up there. Yeah, but then what you do with that though? You come back with the uh, swirl remover. With this one right here. The with the black pad. pad. Yeah, with the black pad. So either way you're going, I mean, it's a good deal as long as you're sticking with 3M, right? Yeah. 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 You guys, you're starting to sound like a 3M rep here, bud. <laughs> so what do we got this for, uh, Gustavo? What's the blue pad for? Basically the finish. That's only if you want to get like a car show look in your. Car. Okay, so so we're starting out with the white pad. We're bouncing over here to the black, and then we're going to the number three step. So we got one, two, three steps. Yes, sir. Okay, can I go ahead and say something now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, the first thing is I want to say to everybody, these corporations, these companies, the more stuff they can make you buy to do one thing with this, they're making money. So when they're selling this to you, and you're doing everything with this one pad, guess what? They're losing money, dude. Yeah, they are. Okay. So I kind of disagree with your action on, oh, this is a better system, and I'm going to tell you why. Because you got to buy this, you got to buy this, you got to buy this, you got to buy three different waxes, you got to buy all this other crap. And I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this shit for all my life. You go with this wool, wool pad here, you get this bastard here, you buy the number, what is there? where's our swirl, the black swirl? Here. Here. Okay, here. he's going to show us, and I'm going to show you. Okay, this is the polish. That's right. So once you use the the wool pad action, you take this, you drip it on there. A bottle of this stuff would probably do 3,000 cars, dude. It, it does a lot. That would last me 27 years, dude. I got a bottle like that one, and I mean, for the amount that you use on that, you don't even need to buy a gallon. Nah, you don't. It goes a long way. A quart goes a long, long way if you know what you're doing. And look what I just found. Andasa. Can you grab a seat of that? Grab a box of that Andasa just so we can show everybody. This ain't... The one you're talking about? Well, no, that's not the rule, but I'm just letting everybody see that this is the brand. Yeah, yeah. And I believe this is a lot better. Uh, and the reason I'm saying this is because we're talking to guys here that are doing it themselves at home, dude. Yeah. Okay, we're not talking about big shops that got all the money, collision repair shops that can afford this kind of stuff, okay? This is what you want right here, guys. You can get online. If you can't get it here, if you're not in Dallas, Texas, look online for that name right there. And I'm telling you, Costabo turned me on to this stuff, and I won't turn back. It's some good, honest to God yeah. sandpaper application, buddy. Yeah, to, I'm going to say something about this line right here. To the people that know what they're doing, 
it's perfect because you know what you're doing with your job. Mm -hmm. So the person that doesn't is the first time doing it. I do recommend the 3M because they have all the steps to it. And as long as you follow the steps. But see, that's what I'm trying to tell you about the step stuff, dude. That's where they have taken you, the consumer, and brainwashed you. You, you need step that. one, step two, step three, step four, step five. When you can buy a couple little boxes of this stuff and be done with it and go down the road, bro. That's when they Shake your hand, make a friend, and that's the exact truth, yeah. Gustavo. Well, you heard it from the professional. I'm just some old school uh, jockey guy that's, uh, you know, scuffing and painting over here in my garage. And I just use what I use, and I use what I use because that's what I, that works for me. But if Gustavo's telling you to take the 3M line and learn with it, then come down here to Ellis Color Supply over here in Hampton. Check him out and t mention my name. He might give you a discount. I don't know. Look what we got up here. You guys have had this stuff ever since I've been buying, dude. What's yeah. going on with this, this Value Pro? That's a PPG line right there. That is a PPG line. Um, huh. It's uh, not too high in, in, uh, in price and not too low either, and it's not yeah. cheap in quality either. I didn't, I've never even seen it. I mean, I've seen it, but I've never used it, dude. I, I kind of compare it, the finish to the tw DCU 2021. Have you ever used that before? DCU 2021. It's like one of the high, high ends on the high end clears I've on the PPG. That. I've never uh, used that. This is compared to it, but it's not really? the same price. It's not the so same So what's price. the price on something like this, the Value Pro? Around P3, 9,000, 94,000. With the tags, you're looking around 220, 220. 220, that's for that right there. Yes, sir. Four to one mix. Yes, sir. So that's basically a low end. Uh, DBC clear, basically. You can say or like DBU that. clear. That's the low end value pro. Okay. Sure. I've never tried that, but we'll talk about that in a little while. I see this name right here says PPG on it. What's going on with this paint? What is this for? It's basically like a commercial paint for a commercial, like a. Uh, okay, is that an acrylic enamel, single stage? What is that? It's uh, in the single stage family. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So it's like if you were going to paint your work truck. Stuff like scuff that. and paint it down and use this so this is a pretty good price action going on here machinery and stuff like that now the good thing about this though it covers pretty good like it covers two coats you're done about yeah now do you use hardener in that yeah yeah so when hardener. you buy a gallon is it a setup like the alkyd enamel where you get a hardener with it or do you got to buy a separate no uh, it uh, comes separate it okay. comes separate yeah it comes separate with these got it okay what we're looking at right here this is the dbc line this is the deltron system this is the most high end that's ppg sells am i correct yes, sir what would you recommend to a guy that wants to start out maybe paint his car at home would you recommend him to buy this high-end paint to do that with i wouldn't uh because okay. i'm already gonna make mistakes uh right but other than if you want good quality, yeah, go, go with it. If you want high-tech quality, this is some of the best stuff you can buy. This is Now, is this PPG top-of-the-line action here? Uh, that's one of their lines because I believe they have other ones. But Deltron is the top-of-the-line, in my opinion. There might be other lines out there that I don't know about. I mean, after talking to you, I'm like blinded here. I'm like living in caveman days, buddy. Okay, so what we got here now is before we go into the other place... This is actually a tint, so I guess you're starting to mix the uh, commercial performance. Yeah, we are. we are. Okay, because when I was buying it from you and I got a bunch left over, it was just, I think it was black, red, yellow, and white. Yeah, that was the main That's color the only color colors you had. That was the main color. So now, if they want to get that al enamel and get that factory look on their frames or whatever inside the car, they can actually come down here and give you a color code and you can actually mix that because I see this is tint. Yes. Yeah, we okay. actually mix it now. Yeah. Wow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about my friend Pete's favorite brand that PPG makes that I always push, and that's ShopLine. Now there's two different types of ShopLine. There's a ShopLine Plus or ShopLine JP or what is that? Yeah, there's it's the JBP, the ShopLine. Um, now what's JBP stand for? It's basically uh, the... Um, that's the higher end? Yes, the plus. Basically it's like a... Yeah, that's what I get. Now that's what I get, right? Yeah. I get the ShopLine Plus, and then there's another one called just ShopLine. So let's go look at some ShopLine. Now you got, you're going to mix up some paint for me. I need two gallons of two quarts. Okay. Oh, that We're blue. doing a Corvette inside and out. We're doing 2014 Corvette Blue. And now, what's the difference? I think there's only one or two differences between ShopLine Plus and DBC. And I think what it is, is they use a different clear or a different binder. They use a different binder. And one thing about the DBC, the Deltron, it covers a lot better than the ShopLine. Well, of course it does. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people can't afford that. Mm -hmm. I try to turn that on to my customers, and they can't afford it, dude. No, they can't. It's For me to buy two, two gallons and two quarts of this blue will cost me like $3,000. All right, $4,000. People can't afford that. That's why I'm telling about this uh, 
other brand, which is the Shopline, Shopline Plus. Plus. Okay, so this is what you want to look for when you walk into a PPG representative store or possibly right here with Gustavo. And you can see they sell a lot of uh, Shopline. This has taken up this whole shelf on this side. This is all Shopline stuff from one end to the other. And it looks like this is your number one seller to me. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. Just by seeing some empty spots, man, we're, we're pretty, we're moving this paint right now. And one other thing I was going to mention is you're the only certified dealership in Dallas Fort Worth, am I correct? Yeah, we are. For Shopline, yeah. If you For find Shopline, you're the only ones in Texas, I think. I believe so. If you find this anywhere else, they're knockoffs. And they're knockoffs. Knock and there's a lot of knockoffs. That's right. You make sure that if you buy this, it has the PPG Platinum Distributor, and that's exactly what Ellis Color is right here on Hampton and I-30. They're the one of the only PPG certified platinum distributors in Texas. Yes, sir. Now, what's your opinion on the Shopline Clear, bud? Shopline Clear is good. It's good. I, a lot. I mean, I heard just around, you know, uh, like you said, here in Texas, we're the only one. Uh -huh. but I heard it. They use it in California. They use it, you know, towards the west. Now, do they have different levels of clears, or they is do. it just one clear? No, they do. They have different What's levels. What's the most high-end Shopline Clear uh, that you can buy? The high-end one, I actually... Do you even have one? This is one of the, this is actually the Euro Clear, which is high end. Okay. On their part. Now that's let's say right okay, there. there's a Euro Speed Clear. Yeah. Okay, so if we we're gonna buy a gallon, that's like a gallon and a quart setup, maybe a gallon and a half when it's all mixed. What are we looking at on price on that? On this one, you're running rough, roughly for this for the hardener, looking at around two fifty. Two hundred and fifty bucks. You're getting a gallon and a half mix on that, and that's the high end European high solids clear. I've used this stuff before. This is what I don't like about high solids, bud. It really doesn't matter what brand the high solids is. The thing I don't like is you got to let the high solids dry several more days. And when you go to color sand above it, it's like color sand and buffing a rock. I'm a medium solids guy. That's what I like to use. But there's a lot of guys out here that like to use the high solids clear. And, I mean, more power to you. I'm just telling you what I do. All right, Pete. This is the one you kind of use. You say you use a medium. Uh -huh. uh, that's what I'm using. It. I'm using medium clear. Now, I'm not using shop line, but go ahead and tell us, bud, because you're exactly right. I use medium solids. This is a good medium solid, man. It's not too expensive. This one runs you about one one thirty for this. One hundred and thirty dollars for a setup. Yeah. And wow. It, and it's a uh, it's good quality. It's good uh -huh. quality. That's one of our medium uh, medium clears here. Now, is this uh, a top seller for you guys yeah, over here, Dallas? It really is. It's a top seller. Okay. And this is the JC six twenty. And now, does it come with variants of hardeners in it? Yes, it comes with the fast and it comes with the slow on this one. Only. Okay, so this is a fast and slow only out here in Dallas, Texas. That's what you're getting right there. But it's 130 bucks. And now, is there a lot of guys using this for overalls? They, they are, yes. This is good this. overall yeah, clear. Color sands easy, buffs out great. Yes, sir. Now, is this a three coat clear to really get it down good, flow it out per? Good, you'd use at least three coats minimum? It's recommended to use three. Uh -huh. it's, it's the best thing you could do, especially here in Texas. Right, right. Just because of the sun. Yeah, but you, for... you, you get away with two because it's, it's, it's real. Mm -hmm. You know, It's not too thick, but not too thin either. What is this stuff right here? That I've is... never seen this brand. Sprint? Yeah, that brand. What is this? PPG bought it too uh, when they bought the, really? the Grow 9000 and stuff like that. Okay, uh, this is part of the Grow. The H-E... Part... It's not part of the Grove. Like I said, they uh -huh. at the same time when they bought Grove. Is this hardener for a clear? It's actually hardener. Uh, Catalyst. Yes, yeah, that's, that's hardener for a clear right there. Okay. What's a gallon? We're not going to go through it, but this is just an example. How much a gallon on that? How much is the setup on this? That one, 135. And it's a five. Liter. And that's a Euro, Euro, uh, Euro clear. Euro clear. Yes, sir. 135 bucks. A lot of people using that stuff? Yeah, they, are, they actually are. And this one actually came from Italy. Italy? Italy. Wow. That's yeah. an Italiano. Yep. All right, so what you're looking at here, this is a bona fide, authentic Ellis Color Supply Store right here in Dallas, Texas. It's a beautiful store. It's a store that says, I want my paint supplies from that store. We're going to get this paint mixed up. We're going to go ahead and look it over before we close the lid on that. And hopefully, it's going to be exactly what we want. All right, we're back over here at Ellis Color, bright and early in the morning. Let's go see if Gestapo got our paint mixed. Um, he didn't have the tint. The tint that we needed for this cobalt blue Corvette crap paint, he didn't have. But he claims it's all mixed now. He went and got all the stuff. Let's go in there, let's check it out. What's up, bro? How's our paint looking, buddy? Uh, pretty good, you wanna check it okay. out? Yeah, I do wanna check it out. This over here, but 
This is it. Let me put the light on that. Let's put the light on it. We gotta look it over. Yeah. Is that that Corvette blue? Yep. You sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Mix it up. Oh, so this ain't even mixed yet? No, it's mixed, but it, you know how it settles sometimes? Yeah. Mix her up, bud. Okay, let's look it over now. You sure that's cobalt blue I wanted? You sure that's 2014? Code I got for that year. That's the only blue they had. Okay. That's it right there. I even looked it up. It's called Blue Blew My Mind. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Let's look it up, man. That's, That's it blue. right there, huh? Yep. Is that it? That's called Laguna Blue. It got different names for it. Okay, it's not called. Okay. As long as it's names. the blue we're looking for, bud. Yeah, they got different names on those. Okay. You want to pack that up? Yes, sir. So what's going on over here? What are we doing? Matching colors? Or? Matching colors. Matching some colors. What are we matching? We're matching red right here. Uh, okay. It's a 3R3 Toyota. I see. I noticed it's you did a, already did like seven yeah. great Yeah, I dogs. think I got it real close right there. But not that quite. looks like it. Yeah, yeah. looks like it, but it's not uh -huh. quite there. Now, when you're mixing paint, these guys that are doing that, and I see this guy, he's matching paint over here, too. Yeah. They're, they're, like, they're more or less doing like the collision job quickie paint the panel and go down the road. They're right, not really right, right. blending paint and they're not uh, clear yeah. coating seven you, panels. Yeah. As long as you bend it from one end to the other, you'll be alright. Yeah. Yeah. Bump, bumper to bumper, you'll be alright. And you're only mixing a half a pint for this I have, guy. I have a pint of DBC. DBC. So I'll put, it, I'll put a dab on it and I'll let it dry and then see what it looks like. Okay. Because it dries darker. The and then you don't use a dryer or nothing on that? Uh, I do sometimes, yeah. Okay, so while we're waiting on Gestapo to get it set up, let's look at this action right here. Now, um, Evercoat has come a long way with their filler primers. And this is one of the filler primers I use. It's called Feather Fill, but I use the G2. This is the Generation 2. Now, this is a, a polyester primer. And it's not a spray-on bondo. I would not call this spray-on bondo. This is like a primer that's in between 2K primer and spray-on bondo. It's a very, very high-quality primer to use. Uh, it's a non-shrinkable primer. They're, that's true to the fact it will not shrink on you. Cross-link cure, I don't know what that is. Excellent flow leveling, yes, I agree with that. Sands easily, yes, I do agree with that. Fast, dry, and sand. I don't know because I, when I use this type of primer, I usually have it sit for a week, week and a half before I even sand it. Okay, so then we got this one here. Now this here, I would classify this as a spray-on Bondo. I don't like using spray-on Bondos. If you have to go to that extreme to use a spray-on Bondo, then you're doing work down in South Dallas somewhere. Stay away from the shit. Do it right. Do it right. Because if you're not doing it right, you're not doing it all. And when you have to rely on spray on Bondo to do the work for you, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, bro, anything else we got to say about Ellis Color Supply, PPG, anything, dude? I mean, just alone, Ellis. Ellis will take care of you. Ellis is going to take care of us. Ellis has been in business since 1960s. Or maybe the early 70s. And I'm right. going to miss Ellis Color Supply because when my buddy Costapo goes, my, my friend Pete goes. Because <laughs> I ain't got my hookup. No more, bro. <laughs> we'll see you later. Take it easy. And if you are in business and need some business in the paint body industry and you're in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, give Ellis Color Supply a call. And that's 214-748-5903. Um, right here in Oak Cliff. Or if you're over in Dallas, go to their main store, main brand store, 972-241-9706. Tell them my friend Pete sent you, and they're going to hook you up and give you a hell of a fuck-off deal. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, heading down the road and going home. And we'll always remember, Ellis Color Supply was my supplier. All right, I got everything loaded up, but I wanted to talk to you about this action right here, dude. Now, this is a big talk going on. This is a big thing, these spray guns. Everybody wants the best spray gun in the world. And I've seen these spray guns right here, these 3M uh, Paint Application Solution PPS jobs. What's going on with these, bud? Uh, I'm pretty much, they made the, they used to be an old one. Uh, I think the 16 series or something. Like old that. school. Yeah, but this is the new ones that just came out. Okay. Uh, better, lighter. Uh-huh. Uh, is this one of them right here? This, these are actually the tips to it. 
These are the throwaway tips. Yeah. So you don't even clean these guns. Everything's disposable. Everything's disposable. Kind of like what I was telling you outside. That step A, B, C, D, E, F. The more shit you buy, the more money they're making. That's true. Okay. That's true. You know, let's not spend nine thousand nine hundred dollars on a spray gun when we can buy this for how much? It's not uh, three fifty for this one. Three hundred fifty dollars. But hold on a minute. Let me get this square, dude. Three hundred fifty dollars. But check this out. It's like renting an apartment. You don't own it. Because you still got to keep paying the big man to keep the gun working, dude. Yeah. That's Does that true. make sense? That's true. So I'm thinking again on the situation I'm looking at right here. I think I'm going to go buy the $900 spray gun. I own the bitch. All I got to do, if I want to, is buy the throwaway PPS system. Or I can use my aluminum cup and go down the road. Yeah. It always comes to this, dude. This is how corporations think. What can we devise where they have to continuously buy something to keep it working? But it makes sense too, though. It keeps your shop clean. That's one thing about it. Right. right? And it keeps but you know, clean. another thing it does, this is what it's all going to go to right here, disposable, because the EPA is going to lead it into that. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at this here, and it says five, you got a five pack of 1.4s. Yeah. Now, what's the largest tip we can get for that? Uh, these actually run from 1.2s all the way to 2.2s. Wow. Yeah, so you could throw basically anything with this gun right Wow. Here. Yeah. And you'll never have to clean it. Once you're done with a primer, throw it away. Throw it away How much is a bag of tips? Uh, roughly, I mean, just depending depending on the customer, but there's roughly from $27 to $35. $35 yeah. for a five-pack? For a five-pack. Wow. So that's like seven or eight dollars each. That's like seven dollars a piece, about. and then the gun's three hundred fifty. But on top of that, you still have to buy the PPS cups and yeah. all the applications for that. That doesn't come with it. No, it don't. It comes with a couple of. It them. probably comes with two or three to get you started. Yeah. But after that, now how much is that system costing you? The system basically for the cups and the lids and the suckers and all. That, how much? Uh, you're roughly looking at around. Uh, no more than 500 probably for like 450 an extra 100 bucks 450 no but how many cups are in a kit for uh, how much is the kit when you buy a box of these how much comes in them uh, there's about eight cups in here no when you buy a box of them let's say like you buy the whole box of uh, liners when you buy the liners there's 50, there's 50 liners and, and, and how uh, much is a box of those uh Depending on which ones you get, because they do go from like three ounces to right, six right, to right. Let's say they go to the one quart. The one jobs. quart one, you're looking around one fifteen for the box. One hundred fifteen dollars. One hundred fifteen. And when you have to use fifty, you got to spend another one hundred fifteen. But it comes. I mean, the yeah. And then you got to buy the cups. You got to buy the cups. You got to buy the lids. You got to buy the tops. Are you getting my picture here, bro? I got to go, but take it easy, my friend Pete. Your friend Pete. And now we can say goodbye, Charlie. Or should I say goodbye, Ellis? Or should I say goodbye, my friend Pete? And we'll see you out in Moab, Utah. With all of my savings of paint supplies that I just purchased at Ellis Color Supply. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.